really bad. Have you ever wanted to watch the movie The Mist? but wish it was more goofy? Well, have I got a treat for you. It's Black Friday. This one starring Devon Sora, Bruce Campbell, Michael J. White, and Ryan Lee, who plays our central character of Chris. Now, obviously this movie takes place on the, the kind of relatively recent holiday event that is Black Friday, the most popular shopping day of the year. Uh, and it focuses on this group of um, employees that, who are employed by this almost like Toys R Us style company. Uh, essentially the morning before uh, Black Friday, where you know customers are going to go crazy and things like this. And we see these kind of, uh, all these kind of variety of different uh, employees kind of having to kind of miss their family, Thanksgiving dinner and stuff like that because they're having to kind of go and prep Black Friday. The hordes are unruly really customers kind of waiting outside. However, Things get even worse. There seems to be a meteor shower that contains some type of alien spores that turns anyone that comes in contact with them into kind of ferocious, man-eating mutants. What will happen? Well, you have to watch the movie and find out. So let's discuss. Okay, what did I like about Black Friday? This movie will it will speak to you if you have ever worked in retail, especially over the Christmas period. Now I have. So it is kind of like, it almost feels like it's made for the, the kind of the employees of, of retail in general, because there's kind of quite a lot of gags here about, you know, unruly kind of customers, how people who work in retail are essentially kind of like just seen as meat puppets for both the customers who kind of want to complain and cause them problems, but also the kind of the corporate overlords who just kind of see them as, as a way to squeeze uh, as much kind of profit as they possibly can from these kind of big shopping days and things like that, but not really caring necessarily about the, you know, the, the well-being necessarily of their employees. So there's quite a lot of gags and stuff. And you've seen a few shorts and things like this on YouTube about, you know, retail stuff. It's kind of fun to see it in a, uh, in a kind of a movie. And if you've worked in retail, you will kind of laugh and uh, some of these kind of gags at kind of obviously the uh, the expense of both customers and kind of like your the retail bosses in the world and things like that. And I thought that was quite good. I also quite liked that the, instead of kind of going for the typical jock nerd kind of stereotypes you kind of get in uh, in kind of a lot of horror films, instead they go for kind of the they're kind of employee types. Like you've got the kind of the uh, the guy who thinks he's kind of cool at work. You've got the kind of the really the suck up guy. Things like this. The kind of like the um, the kind of boss who kind of uh, is a little bit trying too hard at times, things like this. Uh, so that was kind of quite fun to have, almost slightly different sort of uh, representations of stereotypes in this kind of movie. Now I was surprised how violent this film was. This actually does have some quite, um, I mean it, it's kind of played for laughs. Think The Evil Dead, a movie which this is clearly very influenced by, hence why you've got Bruce Campbell there. Uh, but yeah, lots of kind of like quite violent, you know, dismemberment and things like this and kind of quite brutal kills and I have to say as well some quite impressive kind of practical effects. They stay away from a lot of the kind of the CGI stuff here in favour of um, you know good practical effects that I have to say look quite gruesome at times and as I've said you kind of get vibes of the mist here along with kind of other uh, you know popular sci-fi horror movies um, in a way, the thing a couple of times, even Predator with the kind of the music score in here, I think is kind of reminiscent of this. Uh, Bruce Campbell is, is is an interesting role here. He's kind of and obviously getting a little older now, and here he's kind of playing the kind of the store manager who really just lives for work. And uh, you know, it's kind of a, it's, it's an interesting character. He's kind of somewhat antagonistic here, uh, and I was I thought he might only be in a few scenes, but he's in it kind of quite a lot uh, to be honest with you. Uh, I really thought the the ending of this movie was kind of quite fun and there is a reasonable amount of kind of a sort of action kind of sequences and things like this. Um, so yeah, it's a, it is a horror comedy as well so 
don't be kind of expecting too much of a serious kind of take and I think some of the people might like the kind of the, the humorous overtones here think uh, in a way the, the Evil Dead series but maybe just kind of the comedy cranked up to a little bit more kind of like goofy than that and that's your kind of your tone here okay so so what doesn't work for me okay so I have to say I thought the movie kind of lent a little bit too far in the silliness area um, this is a horror comedy, and comedy is by its nature somewhat subjective. Obviously, what I like in comedy, some people not, you know, I'm not going to like, and, and vice versa. So, this is going to be somewhat of a matter of taste in regards to do you like goofy humour, kind of like kind of quite silly humour, where the characters that we have on screen just go beyond that kind of like um, real people stage, if that makes sense. So, the characters that we that we have here just acts like more caricatures than ca real characters and kind of just just not quite realistic not, not like real humans now it is obviously a horror comedy and we have this kind of like this, this fantastical situation but a lot of the time if you think about horror comedies sometimes they you know the, 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 the situations are funny but sometimes characters will play it straight they haven't chosen to do that here the characters are all kind of quite goofy and Somewhat unrealistic. So, you know, again, that's kind of a, if you could have liked it. To me, it, I, I think it went a little, a little bit too silly. You never really got to, to, to feel like you knew the characters because they were kind of so um, over the top at times and kind of so kind of stereotypical, so kind of silly. You never really bought into them as characters. And I think this is compounded by the fact that I think our main character here, he's not unlikable. But, you know, he, he's kind of a, a likeable character, but he's, he's not particularly interesting. Um, the character of Chris is, is essentially our, our kind of our main character. And they've, got, they've gone with a kind of a typical kind of the underdog, somewhat kind of put upon uh, guy who, you know, he's going to kind of try and kind of rise to the occasion. You know, his parents kind of give him a hard time, etc. He has rivals at work. And I, I, I never felt his character was particularly kind of interesting. Through a lot of the movie, the first kind of half of the movie, he seems kind of like um, somewhat a negative kind of persona, like a negative kind of personality. And I get that, obviously, the film wants to kind of feel sorry for him. But I think they go, they go a little far and kind of make him not interesting. And you have far more interesting sort of supporting characters here who you actually wish were kind of the main, the main kind of characters in the movie. I think the best thing that, um, that the character of Chris has is his friendship with the character of Ken, who is played by Devon Sora. Uh, you know, this kind of uh, buddy kind of, but somewhat still antagonistic relationship that they might have. But that's kind of more of the, just their relationship that I found interesting rather than the character of Chris himself. Um, the movie kind of stops halfway, th halfway through to give us kind of a character dump of information. I think the, the movie needed to have a little bit more characterization through the first, certainly through the first uh, half of the movie. Because it really doesn't, you really don't get to know the character. And then and the, the film literally stops in its tracks and we all kind of sit around and we kind of get a character bio uh, in an extended kind of like 10, 15 minute sequence or so giving us a backstory about each of the characters. And it's it's a weirdly kind of paced decision um, because, you know, it literally stops. It just kind of stops the movie and you have these kind of characters talking about why they've joined retail or something. And it just, I don't know. To me, it kind of stopped the momentum in the film somewhat. And then from that point, um, it kind of starts up again. But I think the movie needed a little bit more kind of plot involved here. It's just ultimately the this kind of group of characters trying to escape uh, this kind of this this shop. But yeah, it's kind of like um, it. I think it just needed a little bit something more to it to be honest. But what, I mean, going back to what I did like just for a second, the the, the kind of alien antagonists I thought were quite interesting because when you kind of watch the trailer, you'll be forgiven for thinking they're kind of zombies or demons that are just going go on the loose here. But they actually, they actually do something a little bit more interesting uh, that will kind of remind you of the thing to a certain degree. And it kind of gave the, um, these, this kind of these antagonists, these creatures, 
uh, a little bit of a, a goal that they wanted to, to achieve essentially, which I just think made them a little bit more interesting. And I quite like the kind of the way they kind of evolved and kind of changed and stuff as well. Um, but there's some decisions. Just go back to the negatives. There's some decisions that characters make that just seem like. You know, they just wanted to have this character have this moment, but it, it doesn't, you know, again, it just seems silly and kind of contrived at times. Um, so should you see this movie? I think it's going to uh, depend on your, your taste and comedy. It's, it's I mean, it, 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 it's not a scary film and it, it kind of favours comedy over scares, despite the fact that it's quite violent and actually quite uh, gory at times, but it, it's almost that kind of that jokey style. Now, I... Evil Dead 2 is my favourite, well, second favourite film. Uh, but I wasn't so keen on the, the Evil Ash and Evil Dead series, to be honest. I thought they led too much in the comedy there. Uh, and this, I think, goes even further than that. But I do feel it's trying to... It is trying to emulate the kind of that, the the Evil Dead, sort of certainly the kind of the, uh, the series and the Army of Darkness kind of comedy starlings, but just go that little bit further. So if we do enjoy that kind of wacky, kind of goofy humour... You may you like you may like this, but and again, if you like if you're into retail, if you work in retail, you'll appreciate it, I think as well. But overall, to me, it's 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 an interesting watch for some people. I'm going to give it a five out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.